Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 2 on Taylor and Maclaurin series. In this lecture, we will discuss this question about Taylor series which was asked in GTU winter 2020 exam. Expand sin x in powers of x minus pi by 2. So that means we have to find out Taylor series of function sin x whose center is pi by 2. So sometimes they can ask in this way also another way of asking this same question is find Taylor series of sin x find Taylor series of sin x at x equal to pi by 2 or find Taylor series of sin x in powers of x minus pi by 2 so we are already familiar with the formula of Taylor series and uh, we first denote our function by fx let fx equal to sin x and uh, then we will find out value of fx and its derivatives at point pi by 2. So first we find out value of function at pi by 2. So f of pi by 2 is sin pi by 2 and sin pi by 2 is 1 then first derivative is derivative of sin x which is cos x and uh, we know that value of cos x at pi by 2 is 0 so first derivative at pi by 2 is 0 then we find out second derivative that is derivative of cos x which is minus sin x therefore second derivative at point pi by 2 equal to minus sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 and hence second derivative is minus 1 then we go on differentiating derivative of minus sin x is minus cos x and again we will have cos pi by 2 therefore third derivative at pi by 2 is minus cos pi by 2 that is 0 so we consider one more derivative fourth derivative of cos uh, this function sin x which is derivative of minus cos x derivative of cos x is minus sin x and here we have negative sign therefore fourth derivative is sin x and uh, we are interested in the value of fourth derivative at point pi by 2 that is going to be sin pi by 2 and it is 1 so we have uh, this 1 2 and uh, 3 non zero terms so that will work and uh, we write in this way and so on so now we write down the formula for taylor series of fx at point pi by 2 now taylor series of fx at x equal to pi by 2 is uh, we will consider value of function at pi by 2 as first term second term is first derivative at pi by 2 times x minus pi by 2 then next term is second derivative at pi by 2 second derivative at point pi by 2 divided by 2 factorial and the square of x minus pi by 2 then similarly third derivative at point pi by 2 divided by 3 factorial times cube of x minus pi by 2 and uh, we have obtained derivatives up to fourth order so we write this term also fourth derivative at point pi by 2 divided by 4 factorial times x minus pi by 2 to the power 4 and so on now we substitute all these values of all these derivatives value of function at pi by 2 is 1 and uh, we have odd order derivatives are 0 first and third derivative is 0 value of function at pi by 2 is 1 so this is 1 plus 
first derivative is 0 second derivative is minus 1 and we have 2 factorial in the division so we write minus 1 by 2 factorial x minus pi by 2 whole square third derivative is 0 so we have 0 and the fourth derivative at pi by 2 is 1 and it is divided by 4 factorial so we have 1 by 4 factorial x minus pi by 2 raised to 4 and uh, this will continue so finally we have 1 minus uh, 1 by 2 factorial okay we will keep 2 factorial as it is because here we have x minus pi by 2 square plus 1 by 4 factorial so whenever I have 2 factorial here I have power of x minus pi by 2 is 2 and here power of x minus pi by 2 is 4 so we can imagine the next term that will be minus 1 by 6 factorial x minus pi by 2 raised to 6 so this is the Taylor series expansion of sin x in powers of x minus pi by 2 so here we are asked to expand sin x in powers of x minus pi by 2 and we have written three non-zero terms of the Taylor series in powers of x minus pi by 2. So this is all about this session. I hope you like it. Thank you very much.